Before I came to office, the story was about how the Re People's Republic of China was increasing its power and America was failing in the world. Not anymore. We made clear, and I made clear in my personal conversations, which have been many, with President Xi, that we seek competition, not conflict. But I will make no apology. <laughs> Joe Biden, during his State of the Union, ignoring the threat from communist China, Biden says he's always looking for ways to work with China. President Trump said he wanted to be friendly with Russia. Remember, the biased news channel said it was proof positive that Trump was a Russian asset. You might not be shocked that they don't apply that same standard to Joe Biden. Adding more fuel to this communist fire, Joe Biden wants to give tax credits for electric vehicles. And where do those materials come from? Huh? China. My next guest thinks that's a real bad idea. Host of Trish Reg the Trish Regan Show and the editor of uh, in chief at TrishIntel.com. Trish Regan. Hi, lady. Great to see you. Yeah, that's a bad idea. You sent out a tweet saying this move would make us even more dependent on China. Par for the course for Democrats, right? Don't we need to be doing just the opposite, decoupling from China? Look, Chris. I mean, the handwriting is on the wall. Or the handwriting was actually in that balloon right above our skies, traveling for eight <laughs> days, 4,000 miles. We, we've got to get smarter about this as of, like, yesterday. And, and the problem here is it takes lithium, right, to go into those batteries. Right now, the place that's making all those batteries, the place that has all the lithium, that would be China. So I would just suggest, before we start giving tax in incentives to EVs, and by the way, they're great, fine, go for it. You know, if you want to get an EV because it makes more sense to you economically as a family, go for it. Those are market-driven reasons. But if we're d encouraging people to buy these because we somehow think it's going to make us less dependent on the Middle East, I got a reality check for you. We're going to become more dependent on China because we don't have the mechanisms in place. We don't have the source of lithium. By the way, we may have had it in Afghanistan, but we're out of there now and the Chinese are in. We might have had that opportunity in Latin and South America. But again, the Chinese and the Russians, they're all down there. We've surrendered all of that. So we've got to be smarter about planning our future. Right. Get out of this one world government mindset. Uh, food prices have gotten so bad. How bad are they? So bad out in California that Los Angeles Times is reporting that people are now smuggling, not fentanyl, but eggs and poultry over the southern border. You know, we used to be the world's breadbasket, Trish. Isn't this the lament of Milton Friedman coming to fruition? He said, put government in charge of the Sahara and sand itself will become scarce. I loved Milton Friedman. <laughs> I really did. Um, I, I could listen to his quotes all day long. He also talked about if you want to guarantee yourself inflation, just have the Fed print, which is exactly what's been going on. Look, we have an inflation problem. I've warned of this for some time now, going back to even summer of 2020, even before Biden was there, the handwriting was on the wall. Inflation was in the works. And everything that Biden has done, everything that Congress has done has really augmented that in massive ways that I think are gonna be very challenging to recover from. Now you take the inflation, you couple it together with a lousy border protection service, right? I mean, our, our borders are so porous, and you throw in bird flu, and you get the recipe for a real disaster, and maybe, if you're smart enough, an egg smuggling business. How about that? <laughs> Listen, and it's egg, bad. You know what, yeah. Eggs are the new fentanyl, I, I guess, you know, because they're, they're so, you know, it's expensive. Have you seen the price of eggs lately? For, now, they're, they're coming down, allegedly, but again, all the fires, all of the, all the suspect and fires at our food up, production facilities, what is going up? Well, you know, like food, look, food and commodity, these things matter. The food that we eat, the prices, even if you were to say, okay, well, you know, maybe it's getting a little better in the last couple of weeks, the overall trend is not good. Meanwhile, you look at oil prices yeah. today, you look at Russia, because of sanctions, saying, okay, well, we're going to cut this off. Well, logically, I would have thought we would have cut it off even earlier than that. Um, yeah. All that said, look, well, oil prices are going up. We've got to be smarter about this. I get they want to do EVs. Okay, great. Well, where's your lithium source? No one is connecting the dots. Everybody's thinking about what's going to play in Peoria, so to speak. Is this a good political message for the extremists on the left that want us to be more environmentally friendly? Okay, they think it is. But True. nobody's actually thinking about the environmental damage of stripping, you know, lithium from the mines. I mean, they, there's just oh. no real thought oh. going into anything. 
I got to wrap it. You know what? Don't get me started. When, when these electric vehicles catch on fire, wait till you hear what fire departments all over the country are dealing with that added expense. We'll get into that at some point, I'm sure. Trish Regan, thank you very much. Appreciate it, lady, as always.